One of the most common questions that I get from new developers in Ethereum, Solidity, or other EVM chains is how do I get the balances of my user? How do I get the balances of this address? And with balances, I mean ERC20 tokens or other tokens, ETH balances, Binance Smart Chain balances, and so on. How do I get the balances? And that's a legit question because a lot of things in Ethereum, a lot of use cases in Ethereum is all about tokens and balances. If you're going to do a block explorer, you're going to do a tax application, you're going to do a portfolio tracker, or you want, you're want you building a game and you need to see the token inventory of your players, you need to be able to query for tokens for a user. And uh, it's not easy with the uh, you know, standard dev tools that people use. What people would use is web3.js or ethos.js, but that doesn't really work because in order to query balances for users with uh, ethos.js or web3.js, you would have to call the balance of function for every contract that you want to check. So you can check balances for individual contracts, but you can't just get a list of all of the balances. Um, so with that solution, you would have to ask your user which tokens do you own. And this is, for example, what MetaMask is doing. You know, if you, if you want to see your tokens, you need to add the token, and then you can get the balance, because then MetaMask knows which token address you're trying to query. But we want to get a list of all the tokens so that we can display that to our user or use that in our application. So how do we do that? Well, we use Morales, of course, the most powerful tool for building dApps. And what you need in order to get started is, of course, a free Morales account. So go to morales.io and sign up. We have plenty of videos how to get started with Morales. So I'm not going to go through everything. But uh, when you signed up for Morales and you're signed in, you should fire up a server. So create a new app here. Uh, you'll get the server here. And uh, then once you have that, or once this is spinning up, because it will take a time, some time for it to spin up, um, you can go ahead and go into your project. Or if you just want to follow along me here, you can create a small um, uh, empty project. So I have one here. And all I have here is main.js index.html. And this I'm going to fill with the boilerplate code from the Morales GitHub, which I will link down below as well. And it looks like this uh, in demo apps, Morales sign in boilerplate. And here we have two files. You can clone this or you can just copy the contents. So we have index.html here, which I will copy into my index.html here. Then I'll take main.js, copy that into main.js here. Uh, save both of those files. Here in main.js, I need to insert my app ID and server URL. That I will get from the Morales admin panel. You click view details and then you can get your server URL, boom, and app ID. Paste that into there. Now we're going to make a few um, changes here. When we come in here, we're going to check if we're logged in or not. So current user morales.user.current that will check if there is a user signed in and if we don't have a user signed in then we're going to run we can remove that this user dot authenticate but uh, and we can set this current user okay and so then once we are down here that means that we actually have a user uh, signed in and here we can then call our function to get the balances. And how do we get the balances? Well, let's just save it to the variable here. const balances is equal to await morales.web3, sorry, capital W, dot get all erc20, like that. And then we can console log balances. Okay, and then we're going to remove this on click and we're just going to call login directly like that. There we go. So that's our code. When we have that, we should be ready to go. So uh, now you need to open up this using a web server. You cannot just open up the HTML file. And uh, this, by the way, will include main.js. But you cannot just open up the HTML file. You need a web server. So either use a Python web server or use a plugin to Visual Studio Code, like this live server thing. Uh, we have other videos on that. But if you need help, install the live server plugin on Visual Studio Code or just Google for Python web server, simple web server and you will find an easy way to do it. I'll click go live down here for my simple web server and we'll open up my app. And now this button we didn't use, but if you check console now, uh, you will see, and by the way, I'm already signed in by the way. So if you're not signed in, you will get the MetaMask pop-up with uh, asking you to authenticate. I can actually do that. So let me clear out 
my authentication here. There we go. So now I will get the MetaMask pop up, ask me to sign in. I will sign in. Then in the console, ah. this of course can't be constant. We'll have to change this into a just normal variable, not a constant. Then we can go back here and we can refresh. And now you can see that it logs out my balances. And uh, I'm going to hide the exact balances that I have here just for some privacy. But these are the balances of this address. And uh, that's as easy as that. Now you have the user balances of the signed in user. But maybe you want the balances of any other address. Maybe you're not just working with the signed in address. Well, in that case, it's very easy as well. If you want uh, another balance, you just add an object into this get all ERC20 where you can input the address as a string. And here you can take any address. I happen to find one on Etherscan. Oops. Uh, I just picked one from the top of the latest transactions. And I was lucky because when I tested this, this was an address that had tons of ERC20s. So if you check now, the page has already refreshed. So now it's independent of who the authenticated user is. But if you check here now, this has tons of ERC20 tokens. Neocash, VIN, GTO, cross domestic product, marginless token, IoT on chain, ramen coin, W. <laughs> it's a bunch of tokens I've never heard of before. But this is good demonstration. So 66 tokens, and you can see both the balance contract type decimals, because that's important in order to determine what this actually means in uh, full units of the token. Token address, symbol, name. So with this, you can build a token tracker in minutes. It's incredibly easy. Uh, so I, I hope that helped you because that's it for this little short video. Uh, this is everything you need in order to get balances for user. Sign up for a free Morales account, utilize it in your app like this, use get all ERC20. If you're a bit more of an advanced user, you can also use the deep index API. And uh, you can use it on your back end or your front end and use the slash account slash ERC20 slash balances to get the same kind of data. Uh, but here you input the address like that, and this you can call from anywhere uh, with a GET request. But that's maybe for a bit of the more advanced users. If you want to use it in your JavaScript frontend, this is how you do it. If you have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Make sure to try out Morales, join our forum, join our community Discord. It is the best, fastest way to build apps, so check that out. It's completely free, by the way, so did I mention that? Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.